Yeah, yeah, yeah. Check, check, one, two. What up, what up, what up? How you guys doing? Hope you are having an amazing day and an amazing week so far. I've been really excited to show you guys this game. If you've been watching my previous live streams, I've been promoting it in all of my Flight Simulator streams. Uh, but finally, it's here, and finally, I have a chance to show you guys a uh, in-depth kind of like first look uh, preview pre-release this game comes out in just a few days it comes out on um, the, was it 20 the 19th I believe which is Thursday if you're watching live uh, if you're watching in the future then it may be already be out and you can pick it up on Steam um, so definitely go check it out there's a demo available right now as I speak but again if you're watching from in the future that full game should now be released for you but this is airport simulator what is it it's basically a airport ground handling advanced simulator where you get to do baggage loading pushback driving uh catering trucks uh jetway operations uh, I mean, anything you can think of that you can do under the wing as far as attaching to the plane you can pretty much do in this game and i'm going to show you exactly that in today's live stream so welcome aboard welcome 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 big shout out to ms games again uh for allowing me to uh stream this pre-release but this will be out in just a couple days from now so let's go ahead and get into it i'm uh for those who are unaware of uh this sim i'm going to first uh just show you around just a little bit around the menu so we have new game we'll go into that as we'll be playing with there's tutorials so if you are uh new to aviation or you just don't really necessarily know how ground ops work there is a tutorial for everything there's a follow me car in the game you can do marshalling i actually forgot about that hopefully we can do some marshalling in today's stream you can uh place and remove chocks and cones gpu passenger stairs catering shuttle bus yes there's a shuttle bus and you get to drive it uh jetway operations you can do that manually you can pick up and drop off luggage uh fueling for both a 737 and an a320 as well as pushing back that's basically everything you can do in the game the tutorials for it uh there's also a multiplayer mode as well which uh we're not going to be using today but stay tuned i got a few friends uh who want to do some collaborations so i'm going to be doing some uh, multiplayer gameplay with some people stay tuned for those videos in the near future uh then you have extras you can also uh create your own scenario uh, basically, like if you want certain planes to come in and you only do certain things to those planes, you can create a scenario that is designed for that. It's actually pretty easy to work. There's also a livery manager where you can go and uh, manage your liveries that you either download from the Steam Workshop or create yourself. Uh, and then there's all the settings and credits and whatnot I won't go into. Let's go to the new game. And we are today going to just hop into uh, free play. But there are scenarios, uh, pre-made scenarios, for Keflavik Airport, Vagar, Warsaw, and Key West. Um, these are the ones that come with the game, but you can create your own and they'll show up on the screen as well. There's also challenges, so if you just want something a bit harder, where maybe you're like way more limited on time and resources, you can do these challenges. And with today, we're going to take be pretty chill. We're going to do a free play. And uh, we're going to do Warsaw today. I think in my last video, where we did the demo, we did Keflavik. Uh, so this time we'll do Warsaw. There's also a Key West, which I'll probably save for a later video. So let's click on Warsaw and we'll just hit play. Welcome aboard guys. Good to see you, No Gear. Starley's in the house. What's up man? Titan McDonald, welcome to the stream. Lightspeed, welcome to the stream. Uh, will the release be free? No, this is gonna be a, this is a full game. This is a full game. So you are going to have to pay for it. Um, 
This probably won't be much. I'm not sure exactly how much it's going to cost, to be honest. All right, here we are in the game. We'll bring the music down. And uh, yeah, so we're in, where are we again? We're in Warsaw, Poland, I believe. So um, everything's in first person for the most part. When you get into vehicles, you can actually drive in third person. But this is the airport. And uh, so we can kind of get an understanding of what we got going on today. I'm going to go ahead and hop on and just hit the tab key here. Uh, can you join in on multiplayer with me? Not right now because I'm in single player, but um, next time we play, you can definitely hop on. Um, matter of fact, that's a great idea. I could love to have you guys jump in here and do multiplayer with me because um, this is way better with friends. All right, uh, currently in game, it is 1.08 p.m. And we have a arrival coming in at 1.16 from Copenhagen. And we have two departures going to Katowice and Antalya. Yeah, I'm not from here. Um, um, I, they, they, they sent me in for training. So, you know, I'm supposed to work back in the States. You feel me? Um, uh, Geo says you can jump in too. Yeah, bro. See, I'm, I'm not even kidding. Guys, two days from now. How about we, how about we make it a date? If you guys agree to join in, join in with me, we can do another live stream on Thursday when, uh, we do multiplayer. You guys can, we get all live do this together. All right. How about that? It sounds like fun. All right. So anyways, let's get to the business. Uh, we could talk more as we go. So right now is 109. We have one plane inbound and two planes on the ground at gate 39 and 37. The first plane departing at 21 is at 39. He needs to connect a GPU and pretty much full service. We're going to basically do probably a full turnaround here. So let's go to Katowice. Uh, where is that? I'm going to go to the map. Looking for gate 39. So we're at 18. We have a ways to go. Let's see, where's 39 at? Where is 39? I see 45. Oh, 39's over there. Is that a, oh, it's on the other side. So that's just directly behind us. I think that's actually on the hard stand. So there's no jet bridge connected to that one. So let's go find us a ride. There it is. There's a, there's a tug. Yep, I got you. So Geo, I got you. Uh, Tyler, let's do it, man. Thursday, let's get together. Let's rock it, man. I tell you, it's gonna be so much faster as well in multiplayer. All right, we'll hop in the car. And again, you can use thir uh, third person here, hitting the V key, and you can drive around the tug. The cool thing is they actually have the licensing uh, for the actual branded tug. This is TLD. Uh, and Lucky it has the one with uh, with the freaking cover. When I was working at the airport, my we didn't have a covering. <laughs> <laughs> Sadly, uh, Patrick Miami boy, welcome to the stream. This is airport sim. Oh, look at that. A Scandinavian, sorry, Norwegian airline. Leader. That's new. That that came in a recent update to the uh, to the early release stuff. That's sweet. That's pretty sweet. All right. Is this our is this, is this our plane? Let me see. Uh, we have a tablet in here as well. And let's see. Yep. 39. That's our plane. Oh, that's so cool. We get to work with a Scandinavian 737 Max. This is gonna be dope. All right, so we need to connect the GPU, uh, wait for service at 1251. So that's already passed. And it will connect the stairs to the plane. We'll load passengers, we'll do luggage. Uh, we won't do any fueling. And it looks like they don't want us to push it back either. I think we might have a pushback later, hopefully. Uh, whatever you do free mode or free play, uh, it kind of randomizes the aircraft that come in. All right, so we just gotta get him a GPU. Uh, is there a GPU nearby? Of course not. <laughs> Let's go get one. No, it's all good. You can cross the red line. Well, actually, uh, yeah, technically I'm supposed to go this way on the, uh, the the road. If if you don't go, if you go straight through there, you will definitely get a fine. Uh, at the airport that I work at, they have uh, air, airport ops as well as, I think it's mainly airport ops that can give you fines because they're technically like kind of law enforcement in a way. Uh, all right, we need to find us, uh, there's one right there, a big old GPU. Now, one thing they don't have that I've noticed so far in the game is a AP, sorry, not a, um, an air starter unit, an ASU. Oh, too far, too far. And it's also going to support, have wheel support as well. Uh-oh, let's go around here and we'll connect it. Uh, I believe they do have plans to, uh, add more airports in the future i don't know what airports they're gonna do but um yeah i think they want to add more planes and more airports that's definitely one thing the community is asking for i know i'm personally asking for it i want to see more airports and more uh are we on the yeah we gotta go the wrong way my bad nobody saw that nobody saw that 
Um, I personally want to see more airports and more, and more planes myself and more liveries as well. Right now, um, the only liveries we have in the game are the ones that have been like licensed. Uh, they're either fictional or licensed liveries. And so uh, that's all we have now. But as soon as day one drops, uh, we are expecting to see a whole lot of real world liveries made by the community. Um, like I know I've already seen some uh, pictures of a Spirit Airlines and a bunch of other airlines. All right, so let's get this connected. So we can back here somewhere. There we go. And Norwegian, where is it? There is this. Open up the panel here. We'll connect the GPU just like that. Uh, are they adding glow sticks? I, you do have glow sticks already, actually, um, if you're doing marshalling. All right, let's get this thing turned on. So first we'll do this button and then we'll do engine start. Oh, we gotta hold it. You see the RPM crank it up. It's pretty quiet because we have headphones on. If I hit the H key, you can get real loud. Cover your ears. Not that loud, but it's louder. All right, engine to run and then DC output. Green lights on, we have power. Orange light there, we have power. We can go ahead and shut that. All right, next, we need to go grab some stairs, I believe. Yep, stairs. Let's go find, and uh, we gotta have to run. So in order to, to kind of like make it faster, if you don't want to run everywhere, you can also go to the map, and you can go over here, and you can kind of search the map. All right, so where's everything at? There's also like filters on the left. So we wanna find some stairs. Please tell me they're not super far away. Uh, are those stairs? Or is that, what is this? Nope, that is, we need that too, but that's not what I wanted. So you got multiple different types of belt loaders. Oh, I'm sorry, uh, people watching on TikTok. Let me adjust the screen here for you. I just remembered that I, uh, I moved it. There you go, now that's center screen. Man, we need some stairs, and there are, are those stairs? There's some stairs way over there. <laughs> uh, Paul Pet, welcome to the stream. Am I recording this? No, I'm just streaming it right now, which is technically a recording. I can always go back and download this from YouTube or wherever. Shadow thought a G9 is gonna turn on. Yeah, exactly. All right, again, uh, Henry G Jr., this is Airport Simulator. It comes out in just a couple of days on Steam. All right, E key to get it started. There it is. You can hear a little bit a little bit better now that I have the uh, headphones off. If you guys were to try this game out right now, you can actually go. There's a plane way over there. You can actually go to Steam and play the demo. But this what we're doing right now is the full version. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna be a good ramp agent today and follow the roads. Make sure you look both ways. Aircraft always have the right of way. I know you see, I know you guys have seen those videos online of like stairs and catering trucks driving into planes and stuff like that. Those people are definitely fired. No problem, no gear. Thanks for stopping by, man. I'll catch you next time, bro. Uh, is this on Xbox? It will be eventually. It's not yet though. The plan is it to release on console, but it is not yet ready for console. And to answer your question, Noah, the reason I have the full version is because I'm a part of the Insider program. And I have a beta version that they allowed me to stream today. So, it is not a public version. So, I should say a disclaimer, this is a early access beta version of the game, so if you see any bugs, uh, there is going to be a major patch happening on uh, right before it releases that I don't have yet. All right, so we want to get it lined up. Uh, can I fly the plane? In a different game, I can. But uh, in this game, no, you don't get to fly any planes. All right, I'm just going to get up here. Slowly. Might be a little high. There's an arrow key to go down. Right, that might be okay. The way you can tell is if you go into... Oops, I just turned it off. 
<laughs> you go, oh shoot. If you go to the inside view, you can see that green light will start uh, flashing to show you that you are in position. So I can now press the, I think it's the Y key to put the, the stands down. I'll hit enter to confirm that I'm connected. I'm gonna wanna hop out, go upstairs and open the door. This is the first flight of the day for this flight. That's why it's not anywhere near the stands. So we'll drag that, close it, drag that and close it. And it's all set up. Uh, next task on our list today is, uh, oh, bus. We gotta go pick up passengers now. So I gotta go find a bus. Is this a real life sim? I mean, no, <laughs> it'd be kind of cool, right? But no, it's not. All right, I'm gonna teleport. Um, because we are limited on transportation today and we go find us a bus it's probably all in the same place that's my guess those are some fuel trucks we'll probably need those later oh here's some buses right here apply there is here's a bus there's a catering truck as well no you can't fly on that sim <laughs> no you cannot Yeah, Shadow, you should jump on multiplayer with me as well, man. That'd be pretty cool. You know something I would love to see personally? Oh, look, a plane. Just, uh, I think it's our next flight that just landed over there. You see it on the left? We gotta hurry. We gotta hurry. All right, we'll follow the road here. But uh, one, uh, I, I, you know, you know me, guys. I'm full of ideas. Uh, one idea I have is uh would it be cool t to take this that we have right now as like you know the base game and add on like a um, emergency services dlc wouldn't that be dope and what you could do is you could operate all the fire trucks and and, and emergency equipment and you can simulate um airport emergencies this is like something that they actually do in real life all the time is uh, simulate emergencies to practice them. Wouldn't it be cool to be able to do that in the game as well? All right, here's our pickup point. And I'm not sure where the passengers are going to come from. All right, that's good. Uh, doors must be open. What's the door opening button again? I think it's J. It is. Doors are open. All right, guys. Now we're playing bus simulator. <laughs> that will be dope to do ground ops on, on a on that sim. That's always been a dream of mine to be able to do that. Oh, we got passengers coming in. Here they come. Welcome, welcome. But that'd be pretty cool. Have like a emergency services. So you have a plane like maybe like land with no gear or maybe an engine fire or something like that. And you have to go and put out the fire with the uh, with the emergency fire truck. That'd be pretty sweet. Uh, do I have Nightbot? Yes, I do. And thank you for reminding me that I did not update Nightbot. So ignore anything that Nightbot says today. <laughs> I forgot to update him. It'd be cool if Flight Sim, American Truck Sim, and Airport Sim could all work together. I agree. 100% agree. That would be the dream, man, to have all the different, like, transport simulators all merged together as one massive crazy airport i mean uh sim uh jp what's up man welcome to the stream warsaw is your second home airport that's pretty cool man and juan pierre welcome back man it's always good to see you representing netherlands good to see you bro good to see i feel like you copy and paste that exact thing every time you come by the stream you say the exact same line like you have a copy and paste for blue games either way man i'm glad to have you here good to see you thomas Wed wedgeberry welcome to the stream as well uh teeter welcome aboard <laughs> welcome, welcome to the stream man oh here we go all right we're done let's go ahead and close those doors and we're gonna head back to the plane which is over there uh scs should make a coach bus simulator kind of like america truck sim but with coach buses i don't see why they couldn't do that like i feel like they could incorporate that in the current american truck sim just like add where is the road to get it uh oh i hit something <laughs> i hit something texting and driving we're gonna turn around yeah the road's over there 
Um, yeah, I feel like they could add it to American Truck Sim. They already have all the states, right? Just maybe add some bus stops and things like that. So there's another plane just arriving. So the planes will take off and land. Uh, there is a schedule. There's some kind of schedule that they've uh, incorporated into the game. And planes will take off, land, depart. They'll get serviced. Uh, not every plane is your responsibility. Some planes uh, will come and go uh, all on their own. And uh, you're only um, in charge of a few planes. All right, we should stop right there. And we'll open the other side. Hit K. All right, and I'm going to hop out myself. And we can see everybody walking out and boarding the aircraft. Man, that thing looks good, actually. Not going to lie. Not going to lie. <laughs> how you have a bus in a plane. Hey, in some airports, this is how they board. Where I'm from, we don't have buses with passengers on them. It's just all jet bridges. But some places, this is the way it is. All right, while they're boarding, let's see what we got to do next. Uh, let's see. We got disconnect stairs from aircraft. Load luggage. So how about we do that right now? Because that's going to take a while to do. So I'm going to go and... I'm going to disconnect the GPU. Or just the... Uh, just disconnect being connected to it, I should say. And we are going to drive over and find us some baggage carts. And go pick up the bags. Oh, wait. Hold on. We got to uh, take care of this plane, too. I forgot about this guy. Uh, actually, chocks would be first. You chalk it first. There we go. Put that down. I'll go down here in the front. I'll chalk the nose gear. I'll put the bypass pin in. Go in. Uh, the engine is technically safe. Go here. And we'll go around on this side as well. And chalk that. And we'll go back and get our cones. And we'll cone it up. One here. One over here. Uh, the name of this game is Airport Sim. And again, it comes out in just a couple days. It comes out on Thursday. Uh, you can find it on Steam. There is a link in the description of the YouTube video. To check it out for yourself if you are interested. Alright, we would need one more cone. This is where having it multiplayer will be super helpful. Because obviously this is a lot to do. For one person it's the same way in real life in real life we have a minimum of like three people um much nicer if you have four or five people and it's a massive difference too uh right, we're gonna leave that plane alone we'll come back we really should get like the passengers off of it you don't want you never want to leave passengers on the plane um so uh, uh i guess we should go get some stairs <laughs> uh i guess i'll just leave this here we we'll go get some stairs. We're handling two flights now, apparently. By myself, we're short staff. Where's my people at, man? Everybody's fired. Everybody's fired. All right, I need to find some more stairs. Are we still using the other stairs? I think we are. The stairs were pretty far last time I looked. You're welcome, EB. Thank you, man. Welcome aboard. Good to see you. Welcome to the stream. I hear some stairs right here. Fire it up. It is a fun game. It is. Alright, we got a drive to do here. Actually, it looks like we can go that way. Yep, exactly. <laughs> RTK. Bro, he says exactly. Just like F9. One person working two flights. Bro, I work for F9. So I know. Alright, we're just gonna... Pretend there's a road here. Alright, there's a road. <laughs> oh my god. Again, guys, this is Airport Sim. Airport Sim. Yes. I got So I got some new recruits in the chat, right? We got some new people who want to work for the company in the chat, but they're going through training, and they won't be here for two more days. So for two more days, until this game releases publicly, I'm going to be stuck 
working the flights by myself. This is going to be the worst two days of my life, but I'm going to get so fit and eat so much pizza. <laughs> Uh, I used to work there for six years. Nice. I worked there for just one year. Um, but, yeah. I loved it, though. I personally love working on the ramp. One of my favorite jobs I have ever had. What up, Amazon Lion? Welcome to the stream. Good to see you. Yes, it is online co-op. So here is a, one of the generic aircraft with the airport sim livery on it. Now we actually need to we need to also connect the GPU to this as well. So this might be see usually usualmente usually thank you so much uh, who's that Buzz Buzz like Buzz Casa I don't want to say your name but you're very appreciated just want you to know that <laughs> welcome aboard good to see you um, usually in real life you would have the whole ramp set up. Like, I would never just show up to a flight with nothing in hand. I would have all of my equipment, my GPU there, my belt loader, my stairs, anything that's needed for that flight, I will usually have there at the aircraft before that plane even lands. Unless, in today's case, we're extremely short-handed and don't have any help. Can I use these? I know some of these are static and some of them are not. There's a GPU right there. There we go. So we're working two flights at the same time. Ugh. Nope, nope, nope. Alright, that's good. Uh, how is this compared to real life? Ah, uh, this is light work, man. <laughs> this is easy compared to real life. You don't have to lift anything. And I don't have to be out here in the sun or in the rain. But... They have most of the steps. There's only a few little things they're missing, and uh, I'll point them out as I see them. Uh, you used to fly the Philadelphia to Houston Red Eye a few times a month, so you probably, you probably did, bro. I worked a Philadelphia flight. That's, cr bro, what a small freaking world. You used to fly the Philadelphia to Houston flight, and I worked that flight. <laughs> you know, I'm be honest. The people that I worked with, we always hated the Philadelphia, the Houston flight, because it was always late. Always. I don't know why. The Red Eye flight was always late. I just grabbed the GPU again. So whenever we had Philadelphia on the schedule, we knew we are getting overtime. It was good money, but if you didn't want to stay up all night... Come on. What animation? Animation is finished. Hold on, let's try and reset it. Are you done now? Are you done now? Nope, okay. Again, this is a beta. <laughs> Early access beta. So there may be bugs. And apparently there's a bug on this. Huh. Wait until it. animation is definitely done. Can we not see that chat? Alright, let me try something. Because I'm technically not working this flight. I'm going to click on... Oh, wait. The 39, 37. Is this 37? Yeah, this is 37. Oh, so we don't even have to... We don't need... Oh, I did all that for nothing. So all we need to do with this plane is refuel it. And do meal service. So we were never required to do stairs. Okay, I'm an overachiever, apparently. All right, well, good to know. Good to know. So we'll come back to this plane. There's no people on it. Screw that flight. Uh, where's my tug? Here it is. We'll just leave this here. Uh, it's also two seats. You can ride two people in this. You see, I'm sitting on the right side. I can't drive though. I'm not in the in the right seat. All right. So back to what we're gonna do. We were going to go find some uh, luggage carts and go pick up the luggage for our first flight before I got distracted. <laughs> Skrrr! There's an A320 over there. Neo. Alright, where's the baggage room at this airport? Alright, we're gonna do this. I want to do luggage. 
Take luggage from luggage room. All right, where is luggage room? Oh, it might be right here. Oh, it is. Cool. Are there any carts in here? Of course there's no carts in here. Right. BYOC, bring your own carts. Let's go find some carts. Yep, make sure I get a fuel ticket. Exactly. Exactly. Any news of cost on the plane? What plane is that? Flight Simulator 101. Let me see, can we use these? I might be able to use these. I doubt it I can use these though. Let me see, can I interact with it? No, I can't. Okay, yeah. Yeah, because there's some uh, airport equipment around the airport that's actually just kind of static, just to kind of clutter up the airport, which I, I like. I like that they added some some extra sauce on it, you know. Uh, the ones you can use don't have the cover, the blue covering on it. I gotta go find it now. All right, TK, I'll catch you next time, man. Thanks for stopping by, bro. Thanks for the laugh, my friend. There's an ambulance right there. An ambulance. Oh, here's a bunch. Yeah, this is all the carts we need right here. Look at that. That one's already connected. I should just came and grabbed that. That's exactly what we're gonna do. Uh, I don't personally know how much this game is going to cost, uh, but you can go on Steam, and I'm sure the price might already be on there. All right, so I'm going to connect that one. We're going to bring two, and we'll connect that one. And we'll take the electric cart. So this is a different one. Also by TLD. And we'll drive it back to the bag room. How's it going, Max Yeager? Welcome to the stream, man. Good to see you. Hope you're doing well. Yep, Flaming Delta. Two more days, my friend. Two more days. Uh, is there a fuel loss simmed in the game? Uh, like, you mean by, by each vehicle? I don't think so. I don't think they simulate any fuel in each of the uh, the vehicles. I'm going to put the headphones back on. It's getting a bit loud out there. You're okay-ish? Just okay? What's going on, man? What's happening? What's happening in the Acre Town? You all right? Need a hug? We got hugs. We got free hugs out here at Blue Games. <laughs> All right, I think it's down here somewhere. Here's our plane. I know it was like right. By oh, here it is. All right, I'm gonna do a nice wide turn. All right, which? Here's a question though. Which? Uh, which? Okay, there's a bunch of bags right there. So I'm assuming. That is where we get our bags from. But hey, you don't want to assume because that's how b bags get lost. All right, so let's wait for bags in the luggage room at WAW underscore zero seven. There should be 18 bags for us. And I think that might be. So we'll go around. I think I think those are our bags right there. All right, now this is the tricky part. I remember when I first started working at the airport, I was so intimidated. Actually, hold on. Hold on a second. I want to get something. Do you have any? Yes, there they are. Uh, I was so intimidated because the bag room is, is is really, it looks like this. This is exactly what a bag room looks like, where your baggage, whenever you put your baggage to the customer service agent, it uh, goes down the little, you know, uh, conveyor and it drops down here exactly like this. And then there's usually someone in here for each airline uh, taking care of each flight catching those bags and putting them on the baggage cart and then they take them to the plane. That's how it works. But I was super intimidated because I knew that I was going to have to drive vehicles um, for, you know, at, in the bag room in here. And I was really paranoid that I was going to hit stuff. Oh, nice turn. And uh, it's actually much harder <laughs> in real life. But uh, after, I'm be honest, after a couple months, bro, I was zooming through here, bro. I was like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, man, it was crazy. All right, I think these are our three terminals right here. All right, that's good. That's good. All right, we'll open that one up, and we'll open that one up. And the reason why I picked up those uh, blue tarps is because you can actually place a tarp here on the top. And now this actually makes it much easier uh, to transport because if you don't have this tarp, what you'll find out is that the bags will fall out. All aboard! <laughs> 
the fallout of the back. Viking Ocean, thank you for the subscription. Welcome to the blue team, my friend. Welcome aboard. All right, let's go and grab some bags. This is a bit of the tedious part of uh, working on the ramp is the baggage part. It's also the most uh, physical part of working on the ramp as well. I'm, so what I'm going to do is I have a bit of a strategy here. I'm going to put all of the soft bags in the back cart and all the hard bags in the front cart. Just makes it easier for me. So I'll put these in here. And you can be a bit more precise if you press the middle mouse click and in the right mouse click you can actually kind of place them how you want and you use the main or the left mouse click to uh th to drop them or throw them but uh around here we throw bags at f9 we throw bags <laughs> only ramp agents would get that all right we'll toss that in there a lot of hard bags though we're expecting 18 18 bags on this flight and i guess we'll also be the load master today too Another hard bag. And if you throw them too hard, um, they will open. I'll, I'll show you that later. Any more over here? Any, more, any stuck? Oof. There's one more right there. And I'll place that in the back. Uh, found it easy driving at the airport. You did four carts. Wow. Yeah, they only... The company that I worked for only allowed me to run three, uh, two. Uh, there was a couple cases where we were like, bro, I need three carts for this. Um, so we do three, but um, I think it was the airport. I think it was the actual, no, it wasn't the airport. Cause I saw people driving around with three, three or four carts all the time. But yeah, my company didn't want us running four carts. Our bathroom was just really tight. And honestly, I don't know that I could have driven four carts around our bag room. All right, any more? You guys see any more? I got shades on. I can't see. It's dark in here. Oh, there's one more bag. Almost lost one. And is was anybody in, in stream chat? Were you guys counting? How many bags do we have? Because if we if we miss a bag, I'm gonna blame chat. Alright, that's it. Let's head back to the plane. Mud Life. Welcome to the stream, my friend. This is Airport Sim. Comes out in two days. All right, Let's head back out. What up, BV? Welcome to the stream as well. All right, our plane's right up ahead. Yeah, so see if I go like. Whee! So the bags are actually gonna be rocking in there. If I didn't have the tarp on there, those bags would have flew out. Uh. Yeah, we'll go this way. You know what I forgot too? Is we need an actual belt loader. This is my yeah, I wish we would have had I wish we would have had all of our equipment here <laughs> to begin with. But we don't. Is this the right side? I'm having a brain fart right now. Left side, right? No, no, it's the right side. Uh, Charlie Brown, yes, this game will be on Steam. Alright, I'm gonna park that right there. And there's more things we gotta pick up. I need two belt loaders. Let's go pick up a couple belt loaders. And those weren't too far away. Last time I checked. There go. There's a belt loader right there. Uh, will it be on PS4? That I do not know. You have to... Ask the developer. I know they have intentions on releasing it on on console. I'm not sure if it's both Xbox and PlayStation or if it's just one or the other. Ooh, good question. Will this work on a Steam Deck? I don't know either. Again, we're gonna have to wait for the dev the dev to answer that question. I don't I think that'd be a great idea. Personally, Jay knows the way. Welcome to the stream, man. Good to see you. Hope you're doing well, man. Yeah, so the plane we're working right now, we're gonna do the baggage. Uh, we've already loaded passengers on board, and the plane next to it, we're going to need to do refueling. And I think I'm not sure if we get to push it back. I really want to do a pushback in today's stream. But I'm not sure if any of these planes are requesting pushback. 
Uh, oh, there it is. MS Games has responded in the chat. What's up, man? Good to see you. Thank you so much for uh, allowing me to stream today. Uh, so only PC and Xbox Series X and S. Thank you for answering that question. All right, so let's go ahead and hop out. We're going to need one more of those. But first, let's open up the bottom. All right. Usually, whenever you open them, you want to make sure nothing's in it. And it is clear. Uh, we're actually required to actually climb inside the bin and verify that it's clear after arrival. Bro, that hole looks so small. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. In real life, I mainly only service A320s, and they have a nice big bin, like a big, nice size bin. Um, but Jesus, that's a tiny hole. <laughs> All right, get nice and close. You never want to actually touch the aircraft with the ground equipment. All aboard! You're not supposed to, at least. All right, that's good. Oh, actually, let's hop back in. Thank you so much, Ghost Solar, please, for the subscription. Welcome to the blue team. Welcome aboard. All right, let's go turn the belt on by pressing Y. And want to reverse it by pressing T and F to get out. So that is now in place. And you always want to load the aircraft from the rear to the front. So you start in the in the rear and you end in the front. We can go ahead and do that ourselves. Yeah, multiplayer is gonna be a lot of fun. Multiplayer is gonna be a lot of fun. And you also don't want to drive underneath the wing ever. I know it's tight, but that's just how it is. That's why the you can turn so tight with these wheelbases, because you have to be able to do that. All right, that should work. And uh, we'll go get the other belt loader after we finish with this. I don't really feel like doing it right now. So we'll open this up. And oh, okay. I have a bag in my hand. <laughs> we'll place that right there. All right, how many? So I think it's specific. So usually. Uh, the load master will tell you exactly how many go where. So we have nine in the front, nine in the back. So chat, I need you guys to help me count. That was one. Here's two. And I think, last time I checked, I think it actually shows where it's going. Can you guys see? Uh, it says the time. So 11.21 a.m. So the time is on there. But I thought it also said where it was going on the bag. Uh, what was that, three? Four. So not a lot of soft bags. Five. And in multiplayer, what I would do is I would have somebody inside the bin catching the bags, and one person on the outside throwing the bags. I will level it off there. Uh, six. Seven. Eight. Oh. And nine. So if you work for one of the fancy airlines, you know, like Delta or United or something like that, you get a scanner and you don't have to count. <laughs> if you work for a budget airline, you might not be as, as lucky. All right. This is why you need somebody in here because it just gets all tangled up. Get in there. <laughs> I can't even get in. Like it's blocking me from getting in. Alright, can I squat? Oh boy. Let's try that again. Oh, it's in there. That's good enough. <laughs> Is that nine? That's nine. Alright, that's good. Alright, next is go to the front. Close that. Nothing falls out, nothing gets lost. And since we're short staffed. We're just gonna use the same belt loader. This is how we. This is how I do it in real life. Honestly, in real life, we rarely have two of these working at a time, <laughs> so we don't have the choice but to use just one. Um, do I need a mod? Actually, yeah, I do. You got me, Max. I can. I can set you up. Give me a second. Uh, over here. Yeah, I'm not sure. I've never, never made a mod before. How do I do it? There it is. There you go, Max. Thank you for the help, man. All right, so that door is open. Check inside. It's clear. 
Can I do it from the inside view? Nope, it's too hard. Oh, actually, we're already lined up. This one's a little lower. Uh, that works. Run over here and just nine more bags and toss it in. No baby strollers. No oversized bags. No uh, no golf clubs, skiing equipment, <laughs> dogs, medicine, dead bodies. These are all things that get loaded on to aircraft by people. Yeah, containers would be pretty sweet. Uh, let's flip that around. Uh, another another um, real world tip, whenever you're sending bags up the belt loader, you always want to send them with the handles facing up. And the reason why is because when the person catches that bag inside the bin, they can just grab the handle, pull it in, and toss it in the bin. Same thing going uh, when you're offloading. You always want to have the uh, the handles facing facing the next person. Even inside the cart itself, I would usually have all these facing the other direction so that whenever I go grab it, it's just an efficiency thing, it's faster, it's just annoying and time consuming to have to flip every single bag and it's so hard to grip them sometimes as well from the wheel side. But there is a sometimes where the handle's broken, and that just sucks. <laughs> so. Alright, that's all of it. Oh, it there's Lord. a bag. Rip that bag. Can I get in here? Can I get in here? There we go. I think I'm stuck on something. Maybe it's my hat. Alright, whatever. Let's get in there. I'll tell you this too, man. Whenever I was doing flights and I would get a, a real messy uh, stack. They, they call it stack. We, we call it stacking, at least. You call it whatever you want, different companies. But uh, whenever you're putting the bags inside the bin, you can have like hundreds of bags in there. And um, sometimes people just throw them in there. It's like a big mess. And sometimes it's like real neat. Like the guy was really good at Tetris. All right, that's good. Doesn't really make a... Oh, wait. Almost missed one. That's good. All right, that's all done. I don't know if anybody's using 38. I'm just gonna clear it out here, pass the red line. And we'll move the cart back. And just put that in there and close it. <laughs> there it is. There it is. That's a good job. That's a good job. Uh, you should have it, Max. I hit the button, at least. It said add moderator. Alright, that one's closed. This one's not closed. There we go. Alright, I think now we need to go and disconnect the stairs, and this plane is almost ready to go. Let me double check the uh, tablet here. So yeah, we've done that. So disconnect the stairs. Yep, that's it, we're done. So we'll go ahead and move this back. Move this back. And we'll close the door. King is boss says I got one more back at the airport. Am I missing a bag? I, th I thought we got all the bags. We got 18 bags, right? <laughs> Technology at its best. Thank you for the subscription. Welcome aboard, my friend. Welcome to the blue team. All right, that should be good. I'm gonna go in here. I'm gonna hit the enter key to confirm. I'm gonna raise the stands and back up. Oh, almost hit the bus. And wait, can I park here? I'm not used to these Polish airport stuff. Can I park here? Cause like, where's the, where's the line? 
<laughs> All right, whatever. Uh, start your AP, my G. Uh, we're gonna disconnect. So I'm gonna hit the this key here. Go to ground crew, flight deck, and I want him to start the APU. So I can disconnect the GPU. Let's see. Is that what we need to do? That's done. That's done. Yep. Disconnect GPU. Signal the flight crew to start the APU. It also shows you how much percentage is started here on the pad. And once he's done, we will start disconnect the GPU. All right. So we will not be pushing this plane back. So there's really nothing else for us to do once he starts the APU. We'll disconnect the GPU and probably clear out the cones. And that's a wrap for this flight. Then we gotta go to the next one over there that's waiting for us to fuel it up. What up, Tyler? See if it has you back up the plane. Not this one, I already checked, sadly. I want to, I wanna do a pushback. Um, we'll see, We I think we should get one on the schedule. We have an arrival coming in at one. Oh, that should, oh, that's, oh wait. Oh. Okay, yeah, yeah. So, I think, yeah, he doesn't want to push back either, does he? Sadly, he doesn't. Is he, are you done? Did he start? Yep, yeah, APU's up. All right, let's disconnect. Uh, we'll just hit the power. Oh, I just started it. That's not what I want. Hit this C output, turn it off. And idle. I think it's off. Yeah, it's off. They have two different types of GPU in the game. I think it's the other side. There it is. Put down. Oh, beacon lights on. And I guess we didn't have to do chocks because those just disappeared. Apparently we have an invisible person helping us. <laughs> Where is the thing? Right, is there a GPU over there? Yeah, I'm just going to leave all this stuff here. Yeah, we're done. Load luggage to... Load? Load luggage to aft cargo hold. Why does it still show that it's not checked? Did we miss a bag? Uh, down range. Could you send that message again? I'm sorry, I missed it, man. If you don't mind sending it again. Alright, engine starting up. Sounds are not all that loud as I, I think they should be. I would prefer them to be way louder, uh, especially the engine startup sounds and stuff like that. Because it's not real life, we can stand right here in front of it. <laughs> Look at that beautiful Max engine. I did just throw the bags in there, didn't I, Maddie? <laughs> I don't know, the plane's leaving, so it's, it's too late now. We gotta sit on the next flight. If, if there's a bag missing, it's going on the next flight. Oh, I did, didn't I? I always forget that. Always forget that. This is why you do a walk around, kids. All right, that engine started up. You see the heat in the back? Is he going to go... F yeah, this is a... Okay, this is the type of spot where they just drive straight through. I remember that from flying on Flight Simulator. These are weird spots where they just drive straight through. Put that there. I love that livery though. It looks sick, man. <laughs> yep, standing in front of a engine, nothing could ever go wrong, right? Now, we can actually pull this by hand if we want, but it's really heavy. I'm gonna have to grab it. Ah, dang it. Making me do all this extra work. I just, I can't in good conscience leave this GPU here. <laughs> I can't. I can't do it. You can do some goofy stuff in this game. Like, this game will let you do some goofy stuff. But because I've done this in real life, I just cannot in good conscience do uh, 
a few different things. I have to. Oh yeah, he has. His, oh, he's trying to leave. Oh my god, what? Did he, oh my god, that could have been a disaster. That could have been a disaster. All right, he's out of here. All right, on to our next flight. Sheesh. Uh, I wish. Welcome to the stream. Welcome aboard, my friend. This game is called M. Uh, sorry, it's by MS Games. It's called Airport Sim. All right, so this GP was supposed to be connecting, but we've had a problem with this thingamabob. Is everything set up? We have the box on. Am I missing a step? Can I open this door? And yeah, that works. Actually, I love Delta. <laughs> I love, I love flying Delta. I don't think it's a bad airline at all. Matter of fact, it's one of my personal favorite to fly on. Yeah, I don't know what's wrong with this. Let me see if I can connect it again. Nope. Nope. I'm button smashing. You don't know what to say, my friends. You don't know what to say. I don't know. I think I missed it again downrange. I am so sorry. Let me see if I can scroll through chat to find what you said, my friend. I'm sorry. Every time you send the message, I'm looking away. Hopefully no sound comes through. Okay, good. <laughs> Stand by, guys. Let me see. Uh, channel. What did she say? Uh, also, how many airports will be available at release? Okay, cool. Uh, four, right? Um, this one, Key West, Keflavik, and some other place. I don't know how to pronounce. Is this, like, what? Is this bug? Can I finish this? Animation finished. I'm just going to do other things. Let's see. This is our flight. It just came in from Copenhagen. We got a connect GPU and signal the crew to stop the APU. But we have to connect the GPU first before we can do that. This is the correct plane. Animation. Wait, is it moving? Turn on that. Well, it doesn't matter if I turn. I can't turn. Well, I mean, yeah, I can turn the GPU on, but it's not connected. So there's no reason to turn it on. Welcome back, Lightspeed. All right, so it's on, but we gotta connect it to make it work. <laughs> All right, I don't know. We might have to go do another scenario because I don't know how to get past this. That's fine. All right, let's move on. So let's see, anything else showing up on our screen? Nope, no more arrivals. So we're back to the main menu. Again, this is a early access version, so there are bugs, and hopefully they will be fixed by two in two days before it comes out for you to play. I want to go to new game, and someone was just asking how many maps there were. I'll go to free play again. There's Kevlovic, Vagar, Warsaw, and Key West. We were just at Warsaw, and uh, I'm gonna. Uh, do I want to do Warsaw again? Let's do. Let's see if we have a Kevlovic. I want an airport that has jetways. Oh no! I don't even know what I clicked on there. It's pretty nice, Cole. It is. It's pretty pretty nice. Oh, nice. Indy's an aircraft mechanic. Welcome aboard. Good to see you. I don't even know. What do we do here? What do we do? Let's see. We are at 12.02. There's an arrival at 12.08. There's a departure to Vienna at 12.09. Oh, yes. We get to, okay, we're going to do this one. I don't even know what scenario I just walked into, but look at that sun. Pretty sweet. All right, is this our Wiz Air A320neo? Is this our flight? Let's see, gate one, let's look at the map. We are at gate 12, or is this one? Yeah, this is one. All right, so we're already here. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, this is what I'm gonna do this time, because last time we were just scrambling all of the airport trying to do stuff. I'm gonna do it my way, 
and I'm gonna get the whole ramp set up and ready to like, oh, we get to push back. Yes. Okay, we're doing this whole flight turnaround. We're doing this whole thing. Okay, so I'm gonna get everything here at the ramp and we're just gonna knock out this flight, all right? This flight departs at 12.09. That gives us, dang, that gives us no time to do this flight, Jesus. Uh, so we're just gonna do it as fast as we can <laughs> because there's no way I'm getting this done in, was that seven, six minutes, whatever? Yeah, so let's go grab everything we need. So we need a GPU, obviously. Uh, in this sim, the GPUs are all external. Uh, where I work at, the GPUs are connected to JetBridge. So we do not need air stairs because we have a jet bridge. Yay, yay. And I'm gonna go grab some carts. That happens to be the closest thing to us right now. It's so quiet because, oh, this is gonna suck. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to back this up. Uh, no, this will not be on PlayStation, so you can stop spamming. Uh, aircraft in game on day one will just be the A320 Neo and the 737 Max. So we were just doing the Max, now we're gonna do the Neo. I'm just gonna click and drag this. In. Yeah. It's kind of weird, but it kind of works at the same time. Because backing up these, uh, these carts is like darn near impossible. I could never do it. I know there's some like maniacs who can do it and you might be in the chat now, but I could never back these trailers up. Never. All right, cool. We got carts. Do some ramp prep. Uh, let me check on that again, Max. Let me see, cause I know I set it for you, man. Uh, let's see. All right, try it now, Max. You should have it. You should have it now. All right, I'm gonna flip around. I think those, oh. See, this is why it's hard to back up. Look at that. <laughs> I might hit this cone. Okay, yep, we hit the cone. It's okay. Cone lives don't matter. So I think this plane is departing. So we have to head to the bag room in a little bit, but first we're just gonna get everything we need for this flight in place. Uh, is it challenging? Uh, no, not really. It's actually a really easy job. It's just kind of, uh, it's a little tedious. I mean, it is rewarding though. The challenge honestly is not the actual job itself. The challenge is doing it uh, in a certain amount of time. That's the challenge. Usually, uh, for an A320 Neo uh, at my company, uh, we have 45 minutes to turn around a plane. So from the time that plane gets to the gate, uh, we have exactly 45 minutes before we have to make sure that plane is pushing back and out of our gate again. And, you know, that's, that's plenty of time, usually. But if you're short-staffed, it's raining, uh, the plane gets there late, you're still required. To do that flight in 45 minutes and that is not always possible or easy all right let's go find us a gpu where would one be let's find one yes yeah, 45 minutes for domestic and i think it's an hour for international i can't remember actually i think it's an hour right, we want some carts and drive till we find some should be some, uh, actually not carts, we want a GPU. What up, Jeremy Twinkle? Welcome to the stream, good to see you. Uh, will this have co-op? Yes, it will. All aboard! Co-op multiplayer. I'm not sure how many people can play in a session, but it will have co-op multiplayer. Thank you so much, uh, John, for the subscription. Welcome to the blue team, my friend. Welcome aboard. Right, there's a GPU right there. I'm back into it. So you can play with your friends. Uh, I believe you can also like find servers and whatnot too. All right, we'll connect that. All right, we'll flip it around. Is it still not working, Max? And I hit the button on my end, 
Um, so I'm, I'm not really sure what, what to do different. But thank you, man, for trying. Maybe we'll get it figured out for next time. It is what it is, my G. All right, here is the GPU cart. We'll place this right in the front. And hopefully it works. Yeah, all right, so I wanna grab the cable. Where is it? There it is. And on the Airbus is right underneath the nose. You open up this hatch and then you place it there. It actually can be very, that, that, this cord is actually really heavy. So it's actually kind of hard to lift it above your head and get it in there. Sometimes in some planes, it's like the, the little like metal pieces that it hooks into or it can be like off. And sometimes, yeah, it's just, it can be a hassle. All right, let's get this thing started. Wait, power, it will hold the engine start. Oh, there we go. Uh, yes, all these airports are real locations. So we're in Keflavik now, which is in... Uh, chat, help me out. Where's Keflavik? I forgot. I think it's in Iceland, right? The other airport we were in earlier was in Poland. All right, we'll hit that. And we should see a green light. That's exactly how it is in real life. All right, I haven't even been paying attention to what we have to do. Uh, so we have our luggage uh, belt loaders, which we need. We have baggage cart we have a gpu we have um do we need air st uh catering for this flight what else do we need luggage gpu we're gonna need a pushback truck let's go find a pushback truck and then once we get the pushback truck we'll actually start doing the services for the flight and not only a pushback truck we'll also need a tow bar all right so there's some tow bars right there so We'll hop into the push, and this is my favorite part about working the ramp, is driving the pushback truck. Yes, we're gonna connect the jet bridge. Uh, is weather simulated? Uh, yes, um, I can actually show you that here. Just give me a second, we'll do a uh, rain. I can change everything to rain. You can either do live weather, or you can customize the weather and time of day. At least in free mode. In the scenarios, uh, they're kind of preset. So with the tow bar, you press on this hydraulic thing and it uh, lowers the wheels. So that way you can actually roll and not be dragging on the ground. This is actually how it works in real life. This is the tow bar used for both 737s and A320s. There's a different tow bar you would use for like a, a heavier, like a 7.5 or 7.6, something like that. I think an A220 uses the same one as well. Uh, I was going to show you guys weather. Hold on. I would go in here and go to weather. And we can make this the worst day ever. Let's go. Actually, you know what? We are in Iceland. Let's make it freaking snowy. Please don't crash my game. Holy crap, it's cold out here. All right, let's go. That's the thing, man. That's what's special about this game is a small detail. And yeah, like because, you know, knowing that I work there and seeing these small details incorporated makes me happy. All right, so we're going to wrap around here. Oops, you didn't see that. loud we'll go ahead and put our headphones back on so what you usually do you don't actually just drive this up you're actually gonna bring it kind of like in front of the plane and you actually drag it by hand to connect to the aircraft some people will actually drive it up you're not technically supposed to uh, man we need de-icing on this plane let's go ahead and connect the jet bridge got people's waiting all right let's go up here now this is a bit challenging let's see if i remember how to do this let's see if i remember how to do this hold on a second I don't think de-icing is simulated though in the game. That's something they, sh they should and need to add. All right, so I think W goes that way. Q turns it, E turns the other way. How do I go up and down? I think F11 will tell you the controls. Uh, oh, arrows, up and down, for up and down. Okay, we can go to outside view as well. We can check that out. Cool. And we'll go this way. Rotate the wheels. So you, not so you guys can see that the actual wheels on the jet bridge are rotating. 
There we go. And we could just from the inside view too. It's not much easier. But you can also, you have an indication there in the center of our wheels, you see that? That's how it is in real life as well. All right, uh, go a little higher, a little lower. In the same way with the stairs, you get the green light to flash to tell you're in position. And we're gonna hit the, uh, I think it's just enter possibly. Yes, enter to confirm connection. And then we'll, there it is. The door will open and the canopy will open and we should see passengers boarding. I think this is the, this flight is departing. So we should see passengers here in a second, walking through the jet bridge and uh, getting into the aircraft. Let's see, yep, there they come. Pretty sweet, right? And I'll go inside so you can go see them. There they go, walking on board. Cool. All right, so let's continue with our job. And I am, uh, let's see what's next on their checklist. Probably, we're we doing baggage. Yeah, we are doing bags. Nice jetway, jet bridge is connected. Baggage, GPU is connected. We I don't think we ever told him to turn off the APU. But he didn't have an APU. He didn't just arrive. He's, this is a first flight, so there's no APU on. All right, luggage. Go grab the luggage. Actually, let's go open the doors. Now, the doors on the A320 are obviously different than the 737. You pull open the uh, the hatch here with your hand, then you go underneath the belly and you open up this, and then there's a little knob inside that you have to press to open it the rest of the way. Just like that. And you hold it till it gets to the end and let go and do the same thing in the back so pop it up with your hand do not get hit by the door if you stand right here and you you'll get hit by the door trust me i know these things and then we'll do that there we go Sweet. All right, that's open. And I'm just going to go ahead, since we're here, I'll go ahead and connect all this stuff. Bro, it's blizzarding out here. I've never, have I worked? I did work in like uh, snow, but I never worked in a blizzard. That was in, what city was I in? I think I was in, man, I can't remember what city that was in. I legit can't remember. It's going to come to me. I think it was somewhere up north in in the states. I was there for the week. See, what's what's interesting is they would only ever send me to work at other airports in the winter. <laughs> in the winter, so it was always freezing cold. It was, you know, here in Texas where I live, we don't get that cold. But they would send me to all the cold states. I think it was Madison, actually, Madison. That up. Yeah, I do have some goggles. Uh, they're not with me right now, obviously. But I have some goggles that I would use for really rainy days and like when it's like the wind, like you're just blowing in your face. Because you know, like we're driving these tugs around, and the tugs that we have don't have covers. Like you're completely exposed to the elements. All right, let's go pick up the bags for our flight. That's gonna be back here in the back room. Oh, <laughs> oh no. Oh, you're in Canada? Oh, you definitely work blizzards. Jeez, man. I feel bad for you. All right, where's our stuff at? Back in the back room. It is tight in here. This back room is a bit tighter than the other one. I think this here is where you drop off. I don't know. I don't, we're not going to make that. Get some speed. There you go. If you know you're not gonna make it, just 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 full throttle it. But you don't wanna get stuck. Alright, I got some tarps. Tarp there. Tarp here, tarp there, tarp everywhere. 
Come on, there you go. Thank you. What up, C is there? Welcome to the stream, man. Good to see you. Speaking of cold, so tomorrow, if you're watching, tomorrow is the release of Alaskan Road Trucking. Is that what it's called? Alaskan Trucking or something like that. It's a game about Alaska and trucks, and uh, that comes out tomorrow. And I am planning to pick it up. And depending on what time it releases, if it releases uh, before my usual stream time, um, then I'm going to get it myself. And uh, I'm planning on possibly streaming that tomorrow. And I've actually not, I haven't even played the demo, but I've heard some great things from other content creators um, that they like it a lot. So I'm looking forward to trying it out. I do like uh, driving and trucking games. So, all right, let's go ahead and get these. Same as last time, we'll put the soft bags in the back and the hard stuff in the front if there's enough of it. There's not a lot of soft bags. Does the beacon flash on the truck? Yes, it does. I can show you. Check it out. If I hit the uh, Q key, there's windshield wipers, which I should have turned on. There's the beacon here. There it is. It looks better at night. Looks really good at night, actually. Which we can, when we go back outside, what we'll do is we'll change it to, because uh, you guys were asking about the weather, uh, we can change the weather to rain and nighttime. Um, to finish up, or we might do like a little bit. We'll probably come back to normal daytime just so you guys can see better, but we'll change it to, to rain. We'll basically just make it the worst day in a ramper's life ever, and that's rainy, cold, <laughs> and night. Oh, well, night's not that bad, but it's even colder at night. Yes, yeah, so the demo is currently on Steam, um, but we're playing right now is the full version. All right, there's one way up there. Yeah, the, the bag room that I have is much nicer than this, honestly. Like, it doesn't come down as a massive chute. It's actually a little conveyor that kind of circles around the entire bag room. And it's much neater and easier to work with than this thing. Oh, that's not what I wanted. You know what? I don't want to keep running over there. I'm just going to put it in there. Just going to put it in there. Yeah, yeah, I'm looking forward to more, hopefully more aircraft will come to the game. I definitely will make the ramp a bit more, uh, better variety. Um, and every plane as well, in, in real life, you know, you service them differently. You know, like if you get the big, big aircraft, you got to get the cargo loaders and stuff like that. And uh, I'm hoping they, it's nothing that I would really want to do in real life, but I hope they add the lav cart uh, where you dump the poop. <laughs> that would be a pretty funny thing especially if they simulate doing it wrong and you don't you know clamp the the pooper on there and everything just falls out Ugh. yeah it's i've seen it happen before thankfully it didn't get on me but yeah it'd be cool if they they simulated that um uh, and maybe even adding water to the aircraft too all right i think that's all of it right i'm missing any oh we got two bags stranded Oh, get in there. There you go. Thank you. There we go. All right, let's go back outside. Discourse is unable to accept invite. Back into the elements. Let's go ahead and uh, turn on the windshield wipers. Oop, not that. I'm gonna swap the time, or at the time, the uh, the weather to rain. We'll keep it daytime, but we'll make it like storming. Let's try and clear. Can I swap it back, please? Was it transitioning? We'll see. I'm not sure if it's not it's not changing for some reason. Right, there's our plane, there's our bags. Yeah, I do. Is that snow or is that a. That is, I think it is snow. Not sure if that's snow. It's supposed to be like a um, reflection of some sort. Does it? Let's see. Ah! 
I don't I don't really know that the the, the physics uh oh I think we're stuck. I think I broke it. Oh no. Did we jackknife? I can't move. <laughs> Hold on. No. I can't move. It's loud out there. Okay, there we go. Yep, I jackknife. Yeah, I don't I don't I don't really feel that Yeah, okay. If it was like really snowy and icy out here, it would have been a lot more slick. What did I do? I think I broke something. What did I press? Can I get out? We need okay, there we go. Oh, no, too much. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I hit the wrong button. It was supposed to be the brake, not the gas. Yeah, I feel like it's broke. Like, it doesn't want to respond. <laughs> there we go. Now it's working. I gotta get, like, out of it and back in it for it to... Yeah. So, let's see. Okay, there we go. Was my engine not running? Is that what it was? Yeah, this thing is acting weird. I'm gonna go grab another one. <laughs> Chat, I blame you. You broke my tug. Broke my tug. I'll get this one. Oops. <laughs> that was my fault. That was on me. That was on me. I do not get a raise this month. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> you sure you do this for a living? <laughs> Uh, wait, did I break this one too? What is going on? Why can't I move? What did I do? What did I do? Stop the vehicle. Okay. I don't know what I did, guys. I broke the game. Like, I'm pressing, I'm pressing W. I'm pressing W. A, S, and D. Uh, will I do cross the pond? I don't know, man. I've always wanted to. I've always wanted to, but I don't know if I will. Is it on? Okay, now it's on. Oh, wait. Okay, come on. Just, just, just stay on for me, please. I need to finish this flight. <laughs> We want to do a pushback. That's that's kind of like my whole goal of this whole stream. This would be the most rewarding thing for me is to be able to do a pushback at the end of this. Bro, what did I do? Am I like on some kind of spot? Did I go grab a third, yet a third tug? I'll shut it off. That's the headphone key, all right. That's the turn on key. Okay, there we go. All right, I'm just gonna not stop pressing W. You see the baggage with snow all over it? All right, let's be careful here. All right, again, you do not wanna drive underneath the wing. And I'm gonna go there, we'll load the second cart. All right, how many are we putting on this baby? Let's see, what's the load master say? What's the paperwork? All right, so we did the jet bridge. Uh, it's 12 and 11, so 11 in the back, 12 in the front. So I'm gonna need everyone watching in chat to help me count because I don't know math. You got me? Word. Okay, so all this is going back here. Let's turn this baby on. Yeah, I don't know if it worked when I tried to change it to rain. Nope, not that. So Y key and T. Let's see if that worked. Yep, it's on. Cool. All right, open the cover. Open that baby up. Grab the bags. And toss them in there. I kind of want to see how far we can chunk it. You want to see? Oh! <laughs> Bro, that was good. That was good. That was good. Let's go. Let's try it again. What? Uh. In there, bro. Don't need no belt loader. Okay, yeah, enough. Are passengers watching? No, they're not watching. Yeah, I know. Tags up, tags up. That's what I, that's what I was telling people earlier. That's what I was telling the chat earlier. Tags up. That's the way I do it. I'm just messing around right now. This is like our third flight. 
Um, but apparently, some people like to do it with the wheels up. I don't know why you would. Anybody counting? Because I don't even know what we're on right now. <laughs> I'm just going to put the whole thing in here. We're at seven. Thank you, Tooth. I have not been counting. I got one job. Bags on the plane. I know we got three in there for sure, just by throwing them. All right, let's hop up here. See how much more space you get in the A320 bin than you do in the 737? So much more space. You can actually, you can't stand in here, but uh, if you're short enough, you can. <laughs> let's go back there. And no chat, I'm not going to do it all nice and neat. We ain't got time for that. A lot of snow on this stuff, though. Right, that's good. Right, I think we dropped a few. Oh, that's a bit more than a few. Oh, <laughs> that was heavy. That one was heavy. Heavier than I expected. You guys think I'm playing, but like, there's literally someone at the airport right now tossing bags in the plane. Just like this. Wait, is that all? Hold on, let me check. Uh, oh, that's 11. That's 11. <laughs> Only 11 bags in the back. All right, that's cool. Up to the front now. Where is the front of the tug? All right, let's go. Is it on? That's true though, if you throw bags like that too much, uh, you will hurt yourself. And I've seen some guys that I work with, they're like, um, you know, athletes and they work out all the time and they, I mean, I remember I was in the, in the, in the, in the bin one time and I was about to get hurt this guy throwing the bags at me so hard. <laughs> We gotta turn it on. Alright, Y key and T. There it goes. Look at those engines. I wanna try to turn I think we might be stuck on snow. I wanna try to turn the weather back. Uh yes, tooth. I used to work at the airport. Um in fact on my channel I have uh, a couple videos of me pushing back aircraft. And I need to post more. I have like, I think five videos worth of footage that I have not posted. And I've been wanting to post it, I just haven't done it. There we go. Yep, it's stuck. We gotta we get a log jam. Uh, how do you get hired at an airport? Um, you literally just apply. Um, people ask me that all the time and working at the airport was the easiest job I ever got like it was the easiest job I ever had to get I um, I found the posting on I think it was like on indeed. I'm not sure if you guys have indeed where you are uh, indeed.com But uh, it was like basically like a job posting app um, I found it on there I found a few of them and uh, the one I started working at is the uh, I think it was was it the only one that contacted me? I think they were the only one that contacted me. Might have had a second one too. I can't remember. Either way, I applied. I showed up at some kind of, you know, hotel where they had like 20 of us in there. And they were telling us what the company was, this and that. And then at the end of it, they were like, all right, so uh, sign this paperwork and you got the job. Like, there was no like interview. Like there was no like, hey, like, are you fit for this? It was just like, Drug test. If you pass a drug test, you're in. Like, <laughs> pass a drug test and you're a U.S. citizen and you're good. And I, I had those two credentials and that's all I needed. I didn't need a high school diploma. You know, I didn't need none of that stuff. I'm gonna park this right here. So yeah, it was the easiest job I ever got. All right, I think that's all. Let's make let's double check. Is there twelve? Yep, twelve in the front, eleven in the back. Let's close it up. Get all this stuff outside of the zone. I think this is actually a road. I think that's supposed to be a road right there. Southwest is different. Well, I worked at a budget airline, so that says a bit. 
That's ten something. I know that working at some of the bigger airlines, you have to go like for training, like out of town and stuff like that. I didn't have to do any of that. I did do uh, I did loadmaster training out in Denver, so I did travel for that. I think I tr traveled for some other training too. I did like that part of the job. Uh, they would send me to other cities to train. I think loadmaster is the only thing I trained for. I trained for pushback at my uh, at the airport I was working at already. So. Yep, Sean Meggy. Uh, do I know FedEx? I know of FedEx. I've never worked at FedEx. Uh, I do know people who've worked there, though. All right, let me just double check we're doing the right thing. I, I'm just kind of going off my head because I know what needs to happen, but I want to make sure the game is understanding what I'm doing as well. And it does. All right, so we are closing the doors. Cool. Yeah, we're at that stage. So we're not going to refuel this aircraft. Uh, we probably won't refuel an aircraft on this stream. Um, our last plane that we were doing before this, we were supposed to refuel on it, um, but we ran into a bug. Again, this is the early access version. This is like a beta version. So um, when it releases, you guys will not get this version of the game. You'll get the actual version of the game. I will shut that. I always forget that little thing. All right, that's good to go. What, what's next? I think Jet Bridge is next. We got all the bags loaded. We had disconnect GPU, wait for pushback clearance and move jet bridge okay cool so we're going to go ahead and signal to the crew they can start their apu so like basically uh, disconnect the power and the air air is not simulated in this game i would like them to add that as well um, but they do not have air so we'll hit the one key on the keyboard go down the flight deck go to apu and tell him to turn on the apu so now he's gonna start spooling up the apu what did I apply as? When I applied, I think it was just ramp agent was the title. So if you're looking to do the job, uh, search ramp agent, search ground handling, um, ground services. Those are the keywords you can search uh, if you're looking to do this in real life. And again, it's not very high requirements to get the job. Make sure you're a citizen of the country you're working in and you're good to go. Right, let me see if I can change the weather while we're waiting for this to do this thing. I want to do rain. There it is. Now we got rain. Can we do... Yeah, that's fine. You can change the intensity of the rain. You can change the cloud cover. Yeah, that's, that's good enough. Alright, APU starting up. Let's get ready to push. I'm just going to get this guy nice and close. Pretty far. I'm just going to push it over there. I'm going to turn the pushback tug around. You obviously want the cab to be facing the aircraft. And yes, all the wheels, they turn. Allows you to turn a bit sharper. I'll tell you, my first time pushing back, I was so nervous. So nervous. But it was so much fun. All right, can we connect that? There we go. And I'm gonna loosen that by hitting the V key, just to lower it just a little bit. And I'm going to push it up to the... Oh, that looks like a problem. Found another bug. I'm really good at finding bugs, by the way. <laughs> Give me a game. I promise you I will find a bug. I don't want that thing there. Okay, I'm just going to change the time of day to, like, a nice day. Yay, it's nice again. All right, we should be to disconnect the GPU now because the APU is on. Let's go and shut this guy off. So we'll hit the power button. Right, and we should see the light is no longer illuminated. We'll disconnect that, place it back onto the GPU part. Always close this. This is also where the headset goes. So if you're gonna talk to uh, the uh, the captain when you're pushing back, you'll connect it underneath there. Uh, I'm gonna have to move this guy out of the way. Pick this up. I can. Cool. Chunk it. And usually we don't remove the cones until we move the jet bridge back, but I'm just doing things out of order a little bit. 
Because also, I'm used to having multiple people working a flight. So like one person's moving the jet bridge back while the rest of them are going and grabbing all the cones and the GPU stuff and whatnot. So, uh, Connor, no, I think I missed your message, man. Miguel, what's up, my friend? So we'll do DCS World Stream on Friday. Um, we could possibly be getting a major update to DCS World on Thursday. And, uh, and so I'll be streaming DCS on Friday. So all of you who are interested in combat flight simulators, fighter jets, F-16s, F-18s, F-15s, dropping bombs on, you know, warheads on foreheads, all that kind of stuff, that's going to happen on Friday. So I'm looking forward to that. And again, tomorrow we'll be doing some Alaskan trucking. At least that is the plan. As long as my wheel works. If my wheel doesn't work, I might not do it. All right, let's go ahead and disconnect the jet bridge. So we'll do that by hitting the enter key here. All right, door is closed. Y'all have a nice flight. Thank you for the water. And we'll just move it back into that circle. Moving it back is so much easier than moving it forward. There it is. And there's a the ground crew. Or the rest of my ramp agents who were nowhere to be found this entire stream. <laughs> Where you guys been at? You just showed up? You just showed up? Supervisor? Oh, look at that. He has, um, that's actually cool. I actually never noticed. So he has the wands there. Wing walker on the right. Yeah, exactly, To Shift change. I'm on my way out of here. And they just got here. So you guys can have it easy. Oh, uh, man, I worked this whole shit by my dang self. <laughs> All right, let's get this guy in place. Just about ready for pushback. Again, um, depends who you ask and who you work for. Um, usually you don't want to drive the tow bar into the plane. You want to do it manually. Again, it depends who you ask and who you work for. Thank you, Lempart Tom, for the subscription. Welcome to the blue team, my friend. Thank you for watching. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in today. Uh, this has been a lot of fun. Big shout out to MS Games and the makers of um, Airport Sim for allowing me to stream this just a little bit early. There we go. Oh, perfect. Thank you also for the cheers, my friend. We are live on YouTube, Twitch, Facebook, Twitter and TikTok. So thank you everyone, no matter where you are watching from. It is now time for the main event. What I've been waiting for this entire stream, that is pushing back an aircraft. And what's even crazy is that we are in the freaking alleyway. Let's turn it off. Let's turn the beacon light on. Headlights are already on. And we're gonna get connected here. I think that should be close enough. There we go. All right, are we clear to push? Uh, will they add real airlines? Uh, the game itself will not, but um, I can guarantee I've already seen them. Uh, starting on day one, it will be on the Steam Workshop. And, um, oh crap, we didn't, he didn't start the APU. <laughs> Hold on a second. He can't start the engine, the APU not on. I told you to start the APU, man. Bro, APU. Start it up. Um, let me see. Where's the button at? Let's see if he'll still do it. I'm not sure if he'll still do it. APU. No, it says it's on. I think he still turned it on. I think for whatever reason it says that I didn't turn it on. All right, so it's a straight back pushback. Oh, I thought we was going to have us turn them that way. All right, well, that's better said than done. Straight back sounds easy, but it's not extremely easy. All right, are they ready for us to push? You have to ready for us to push. All right, let's call them up. Let's call him up. We're on the flight deck. Yeah, we're ready when you are. Copy that. Clear to push straight back. Starting push. All right, here we go, guys. All right, how are we going to do here? Oh baby, we got it here. It's really hard doing this on mouse and keyboard. Slow. 
slow and steady. Hold on a second. You are clear to start engines. Almost there. You are a clear start engine too. A little more. I had to do right there. Woo! All right, push complete, set your brake. All right, so he's gonna pump up the uh, the wheels back on the tow bar. He's gonna go and disconnect the uh, actual clamp that clamps the tow bar to the uh, nose wheel gear, and then he's gonna go and take off the headphone jack, and he'll also remove the um, the uh, bypass pin. Once he disconnects me, I can back up, and I'll wait for him. He's gonna check, inspect the gear, make sure nothing's okay, everything's okay. Wing walkers are still gonna be holding it. He's gonna clear it, goes to the side. He's gonna wave the pin in the air. And there it is, guys. Pushback. Oh, that was so cool. <laughs> and he's out of here, baby. See ya. And in some airlines, the weird ones, they'll all stand outside. And like wave i think westjet does that <laughs> or is it alaska i can't remember who it is goodbye wiz air we'll catch you next time well guys that's gonna be it for me for today's stream again this is airport sim this game comes out on thursday two days from today you can pick it up on steam by ms games speaking of ms games big shout out to them and thank you for allowing me to stream this today uh, and show this content off. I will be still be posting a few more videos throughout this week of some multiplayer stuff, as well as we may come back on Thursday uh, for like a release party and get a few of you guys to join me in a multiplayer co-op session if you're down. Um, so that plans on the way out. Um, man, I, I, I'll, I'll give my, my feedback on the game right now. As a real world ramp agent, I am impressed at the detail that they've done in the game. There's some things that I thought that they would miss and they didn't. Um, you can definitely tell they've uh, listened to the feedback from other uh, real world ramp agents and they've been out here on, on, on air side at ramps and they really know what they're talking about. There's definitely a few more features that they could add, a few more pieces of equipment that they could add, but I think this is a great starting point. I'm looking forward to seeing more real world liveries, more airports being added. And I'm hoping, I'm really hoping that the community once this releases, as a community will really take advantage of the Steam Workshop and start creating liveries, special liveries, and even maybe create some uh, airport DLC. I'm not sure that's possible or not, uh, but I would love to see my home airport or any other airport or more U.S. airports. I would love to see more U.S. airports in the game. Right now, there's only one, and it's Key West. But anyways, guys, that is it for today. Jump in the chat just real quick and let me know where you're watching from. I'll give you guys a really quick shout out before we head out of here again. This game comes out in a couple of days by ms games on steam link is down in the youtube description right now uh, but you guys are amazing thank you for coming out i'm going to put this guy back 
Um, but thank you, thank you, MS Games. Thank you, Big Jess from Utah. Thank you, Silver. Thank you, SM Rail from Birmingham, Alabama. Thank you, Chin from Austin. Thank you, Juan from Plainville. Q50 from Florida. Juan from Illinois. Again, yes, this will be on Xbox and PC. PC on day one. Xbox will come later. All right, Xbox is coming later. Um, and it will not be on PlayStation as I know of right now, for those who are asking. Mark and Spot representing Newfoundland, Canada. Thank you so much for hanging out with us today, man. Now, this is the part where we go and clean the ramp up. Make sure there's no FOD or a foreign object debris on the ground. And honestly, we go run to our next flights or we go and clock out, which I think for us, it's time to clock out. <laughs> Gilly, thank you, man, for hanging out with us. Thank you, Trevor, as well. Uh, will they add on airports you can buy like third party? I don't know the answer to that question. Um, the developers also stream on Twitch as well. I don't know what their, their thing is. Um, MS Games, if you have it, you can post it. Uh, don't post a link, just post a name. Uh, but I do believe they have their own team that streams on Twitch um, throughout the week that shows off the game as well. I've been watching some of those. So um, if you have questions directly for them, check them out or check them out on their Discord as well. Uh, just look it up. Look up Airport Sim on um, on Google. You can find their website and get all the info, info you're looking for. Uh, is it simulation for the field work? Or is it simulating for the... I'm not sure what that question was, Q50. Sorry, man. I am paying attention, Zach. Uh, how much is it going to be? I don't know. <laughs> so, how much is it, people? How much, how, much, how much is it, chat? Yes, MS Games uh, PL on Twitch is their Twitch handle. Do you have any more flights coming in? Is this it? We got Frankfurt on state on a six. Was that the same one? We got Shania. We got a few flights. Technically, this scenario is not over. We could do more flights if we wanted to, but I'm done for today. Uh, yes, there's multiplayer co-op. Uh, game name: Airport Sim. I was gonna put the cones down while I'm saying goodbyes. Thirty-five U.S. dollars for those who are asking how much it's gonna be. Thirty-five. Thank you so much for answering that. Thirty-five U.S. dollars. I need some chocks. Again, guys, we'll be live again tomorrow with some Alaskan trucking sim. And then Thursday, uh, we may be back in airport sim again uh, to do some multiplayer. Looking forward to that. Uh, yes, Xbox. Uh, developer is MS Games. I can't remember who the publisher is. Who's the publisher? I cannot remember who the publisher is. I don't want to say one because I don't want to say the wrong one. Uh, it is on Steam though, even though that's not the that's not the publisher. No, it is not Ubisoft. <laughs> it is not Ubisoft. <laughs> uh, Iceberg Interactive is the publisher. Thank you. All right, one more. You know what? I might just go ahead and connect the jet bridge just for just for fun. What is it? What do they need here? Is this Frankfurt? Or is this Chania? What flight is this? Is this stand six? This is stand six. This came in from Chania. He just landed. Uh, bypass pin. Right, bypass pin. Is it in? Is it there? There you go. Bypass pin's in there. Uh, Xbox. No PlayStation. What up? Use the book to stream, man. We're just wrapping up here. I'm just going to get this plane situated and we'll bounce out. We got to clock out. The uh, next shift is already here. Connect GPU, signal flight crew, so I need a GPU again. I think we already have a GPU connected over here, don't we? Don't we? Don't we? Yes, we do. Any more questions, guys, before we head out? Just let me know. I'll do my best to answer them if I know the answer. Um, thankfully, MS Games is in the chat, so uh, if you have a question for them, they'll answer you directly, or I'll repeat it out loud if you're not paying attention to the chat. Uh, yes, there was wing walkers. You just missed it. We just pushed back an aircraft and there were wing walkers. Uh, there was even a supervisor um, doing the talking to the crew. And here we go at 737 MAX with a generic livery on it. Park this right here. And we'll go ahead and grab the GPU here. And open up the clip. 
Uh, it comes out on Thursday. This game releases on Thursday. Airport Sim on Steam. But Xbox version will come later. When, I don't personally know. I right, hold down hit to start the engine. It is weird, isn't it? It is it's definitely weird to see a game that simulates your job. But it's so cool. <laughs> it's so cool because you actually know, like, you know. You know what I mean? Like, a lot of games that I play, I play a lot of simulators. But usually, I, I don't know what the heck I'm doing or what I'm talking about. Uh, in this case, I know everything, <laughs> so it's it's weird. I'm gonna signal the crew to turn off the APU. So we'll go down to flight deck, APU, turn off. So we'll say we're uh, we're plugged up. We'll shut the APU off. Doesn't really matter to me because we can still connect the jet bridge. And we'll go and do that. see how good I am this time might be a little low last time we did it in a, in a rain or a blizzard <laughs> a little low Come up down I think we're too far yeah, there we go there we go record time all right enter pop open the door and we should have passenger passengers disembarking on this one for this flight uh, oh, enter air is real. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm not from here. I'm, I'm just here for training. I didn't know enter air was a real airline. That's cool. Uh, it's one of the biggest in Poland and Europe. It's a charter airline. Oh, okay. That's sweet. That's pretty sweet. Uh, Josh, it's gonna be like around 30 ish, 30 ish US, US dollars. That's how much the game is gonna be. Oh, you work for Envoy. Sweet, man. You get to work with the CRJs and ERJs. Uh, this is the full game, Bugs. Full game, man. All right, cool. All right, guys, we're done. That's a wrap for me. I got to clock out. Um, I got to go to my second job. <laughs> uh, but this was fun. Uh, again, if you're uh, curious, this is called Airport Sim. It comes out in just a couple of days on Thursday. It will be available on Steam. Uh, the price is supposed to be around 30 USD. There's some bags in there. Need to be offloaded, but that's not my problem because I'm clocking out. There's a lot of bags in there. Gee, that's a heavy flight. I'm out of here, bro. I'm out. I'm bouncing. <laughs> I'm, uh, peace. <laughs> Anyways, guys, it's been fun. Until next time. Uh, remember you have... Oh, look, the pastor's walking up. Remember you have three choices. Give up, give in, or give it all. You got peace, love, and God bless you. I will see you guys in the next one. We out, baby. Sheesh.